Morning, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Chad with CD Shave, and thank you very much for joining me for today's head shave and a soap profiling. Before we get into that, let's get into the holiday of the day. Today's holiday of the day is National Chocolate Covered Cashews Day. There's nothing like chocolate and salt combined. You just can't beat it. Every time I have a some type of chip or whatever, I always have to have chocolate afterwards. It's just kind of the way it goes. Uh, sweet and salt just seem to go together. So National Chocolate Covered Cashews Day. Enjoy, ladies and gentlemen. All right. Moving on to the shave, I'm pretty excited about this product. It is yet to be released. Uh, it'll be out shortly. So we're getting into Holy Cow's Centropy. Check out the label on that. Right there. Give you a look at that. All right. So as far as the uh, this soap is concerned, it's just a conglomerate of different scent notes. I'm not even going to get into it quite yet. Uh, we're just going to go over basically what we have for the gear. So we have the soap right here. We have the matching aftershave, which is mentholated. I love mentholated soaps, so I'll be judging how much menthol is in that. As far as after the shave is concerned, we're always going to pair our go with our Thayer's Witch Hazel in the JD bottle, ready to go there. Now, can't really make a lather without a brush. Leo Frilo, synthetic knot. As you can see, this is kind of a bunch of different colors on here. Thought it kind of went with the theme of the label, so we went with that. Above the tie, Calypso for the razor, and feather blade. Now, as far as the lather is concerned, we're going to be bowl lathering in our CD shaven uh, bowl here. I'll we'll put it right in the middle, and we'll get it lathered up and ready to go. Uh, so we're going to do that, actually. We're going to put the soap in the bowl, lather it up. In the meantime, take a look at this. Centropy, a common term, if you teach an advanced collegiate physics class. Here in the world of wet shaving, it refers to Holy Cow's most recent release. With a conglomerate of over 13 separate scent notes, you can be sure there is much happening when you put your nose to this profile. Centropy is the type of scent that the company claims you can wear for those special occasions or when you just want to smell fantastic. The profile list is one that reveals nothing of how it actually smells, one of those scents you just have to experience for yourself. Sri Ram over at Holy Cow collaborated with West Coast Shaving to create a premium scent to go with their premium release. Exclusive to West Coast Shaving, Centropy comes in a 4-ounce plastic tub with a screw-top lid and waterproof label. There is also a mentholated aftershave of the same profile available in a 4-ounce glass bottle also sporting a screw-top cap and waterproof label. And speaking of the label, Shri has been working with a designer on it for quite some time, resulting in an artistic piece that is as revealing and complex as the scent profile it designates. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Lather's been completed. Blade is loaded. <clears throat> Threw a little bit of water on the head here. As you can, wow, we're throwing lather everywhere here. Check it out. That stuff is fantastic. I mean, look at the peaks on that thing. Nice and dense, full of water. Really, really nice. I'm very, very impressed with this. Now, uh, I left a sample. So you can see I scooped it. That's what the soap looks like. I scooped it out and put it in the, uh, used my scooper to do that. I left a little bit of a sample out of the soap. This is the soap consistency. I just wanted to, this is, this is pretty much in my opinion, what I would qualify as a cream. I mean, this is this is pretty, you know, for those of you that, that soak your soaps, I certainly wouldn't do that to this one. Uh, if you're going to try to do that, I would, I would recommend scooping it first and then trying to do it and see what happens. But I personally, I don't think you need to do that. Uh, off the puck, I, I thought the scent was uh, definitely up there. In uh, I'd say it's probably, I'd say it's probably between a... Uh, Six and a seven as far as scent strength is concerned. But I'm more interested in how it shaves. I'm also interested in this bad boy right here. All right. Let's start into this first pass, shall we? We already threw some water in our head here, so we're ready to go on that. So while we're lathering up here, I just want to talk a little bit about the name. I uh, had a conversation with Abraham over at West Coast Shaving. And uh, he let me in on a little bit of information on the uh, the name of Holy Cow. First thing I said to him when I got this, I said, you know what, Abraham, how do you pronounce it? Holy Cow or Holy Cow? 
And he said, you know, it was interesting because a lot of people do say it differently, but it is actually holy cow. And the reason behind that <clears throat> wow, that was very easily thrown right up on the head there. We're going to go ahead and get this first pass going. All right, so as far as the uh, the name is concerned, the reason for that was they sent out a bunch of their samples in the beginning, way back in the day when they were trying to start their uh, the business. And... They got a whole bunch of people that responded with the words, holy cow, <laughs> this stuff's crazy. The holy cow, this stuff is great. But unfortunately, I believe that name was already copyrighted. As far as I can determine, it's a uh, burger joint out of um, Tex uh, Texas, I think. And so with that, they decided, holy cow, but spelled a little bit differently. And I do have to agree with that statement. Holy cow. So far, the initial slickness is really, really crazy. I haven't used um, their newer stuff in a while. <clears throat> the base is fantastic on this. And I listed the ingredients in the description below. They've got all kinds of milks in there and whey. As far as the scent strength is concerned, after it's lathered, it's the same. I'm picking up uh, various scents of a uh, little bit of leather, almost like a powdery uh, note to it. This is definitely a spring scent, in my opinion. Uh, it's not floral, but powdery with a little bit of leather in there. And I pick up a little bit of lavender. Now, having said that, the lavender doesn't necessarily make it floral. It just It's just kind of on the background there. All right. Residual slickness is crazy. Absolutely crazy. I'm really liking this. All right. We're going to go ahead and uh, relather, get into the subsequent uh, sh uh, passes, and we'll see you guys in the post shave.
Zach, thank you very much for staying with us. Dome of Perfection here for the post shave. No nicks, cuts, areas of irritation, smooth as glass. Now, as far as the post shave is concerned, I feel like my skin is very well hydrated. It's uh, I don't feel like it's tight or drying or itching at all. I was actually pretty impressed with that. Throughout the shave, I kept testing the residual slickness, and it was on par with every single pass. It also did uh, also did very, very well for lather stability. It's withstood all my passes. So we're going to go ahead and throw a little bit of witch hazel a little bit on there. So, yeah. Uh, as far as the scent strength throughout the, the shave, it stayed about the same. Um, I got a lot of the lavender and leather that kind of jump forward throughout it in, in the sense of that it doesn't necessarily make it uh, a floral for me, but it does, uh, it do, it, that, those are the two scents that jump forward in it. As you can see, I didn't really use that much. I still have plenty of the uh, soap left, so we're going to close that up, set it aside. And yeah, that witch hazel is pretty much gone, so we're going to go ahead and throw on some of the, the aftershave. Aftershave's concern. Again, I'm getting a lot of menthol smell off of this one. I don't necessarily get much of the scent per se. But that's alright, because I like menthol. A little bit of that up on the dome. A little bit on the face. Okay, I am getting a background of the scent. It's coming through. There's a lot of menthol in this as far as scent is concerned, but I'm sure that'll dissipate. It usually does for me. But the initial uh, scent of menthol jumps right out at you, and then, like I said, it's background with the scent of the soap itself. So I'm very happy with that. Feels nice, went on nice, no burning at all. Skin feels good. This was an excellent shave. Ladies and gentlemen, that is it. That's the shave. We are completed. Thank you very much for joining me. If you have any questions about this video or any of my videos, please put it in the comment section below. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed and i don't know why you haven't if you want to make sure you do when you do you knock that bell that way you get a notification every time we do a new video here at cd shaven folks i am chad thank you very much for joining me and we'll see you guys and girls in the next video